Have you ever had a history of sleeping in class mail? Uh, not high school or elementary school. College, right? Art history. Oh, art history. The early classes. They're the ones that get you. Wow. Ooh. Bit violent there. I think she's done with you. Doggone it, Mrs. Kendrick. Alright, so Kendrick. let's... Kendrick. Let's head to the right here. I'm interested to see if they continue to alter the map. It does turn into trees. So it looks like it, it's it's staying the same. Ah, oh, okay. So now we've got rain everywhere. Can you go down the slide? Uh, I couldn't before. At least I'm pretty sure I couldn't before. I can I can press space to splash. I think you're jumping. Yeah. Oh. You know, splash, jump, whatever. Yeah, I can't jump over the slide or anything. See if I can jump into the sandbox. No, can't jump into the sandbox. Oh. So, I'm really trying to focus on the little things. Because it, it seems like, you know, his parents are not home very often. Maybe he doesn't spend a lot of time with them. He certainly he doesn't have any friends. Because he has been spending no time with anyone. <laughs> Looks like we have a new path. The tree's right. moved for you. Oh, you gotta save the bird from the badger. Get out of here, badger. Nice. I'm a kung fu expert. Looks like maybe the bird can't fly. I think its wing is injured. Mm-hmm. I don't want to freak the little thing out. <laughs> Didn't try it, buddy. Okay. All right. <laughs> I saved the bird. Again? Oh, that badger. Ooh. Starting to play nasty now. Mm hmm. <laughs> hmm. Cheep, cheep, cheep. So he doesn't even know. Well, the game is called a bird story. I guess it makes sense that the story would revolve <laughs> around a bird. Well, I got myself a new friend. So that's something. <laughs> like it never even happened. <laughs> so now I think it's supposed to represent like when you're a kid, your memories change about places. It's true. It's true. Um, the the there's some scientific stuff there where the brain doesn't hold memories exactly as they happened. Let's go in here and see if we can get some help for our bird friend. Or not? No. Well, all right, we'll continue to take the path home. Looks like I'll be nursing this little guy back to health myself. And here we are. Getting back to the apartment. 
All right. 152. Oh, there's someone here. Oh. You gotta stay out of the radar. Huh. I, like, quickly ran to the other side. That was convenient. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, back to the mouse. Gotta sneak this little guy inside. No pets. No pets at this apartment. <laughs> See, that was funny. Because the last time that they went up the elevator, he took a sidestep away from the other guy. There's a lot of attention to detail, and uh, I've actually come to expect that now, because To the Moon was loaded with tiny details, whether whether it be part of the story or, uh, you know, in the animation or whatnot. But as far as the animation goes, it's really been cranked up to 11 in this game. Has to be. But it, yeah, you're right, it, it absolutely has to be, because there is no dialogue. But so far, the story is very clear, even with no dialogue, so... Okay, I fixed my hair. There's another note. Render no pets. <laughs> Billy, this is your mother. I just wanted to let you know that in the event that you find a bird in the woods today that you can't bring the bird home. You know how I am. I just think little things. Love you. <laughs> Dinner's in the fridge. Be home when you're asleep. All right, let's go out here into my room. Wow, there's a stack of them. His parents really like notes. Come on, little guy. It's so cute! Made a mad dash for outside. I mean, it can't fly. But it could also just jump. Hmm. Bird needs Bird's water? Bird's thirsty. Oh my goodness. It's Is like it you're playing... Tamagotchi. Mm-hmm. Alright. I just realized that there's probably a portion of the audience that is too young to know what a Tamagotchi <laughs> is. Not all of you, mind you. I know sometimes I say those things and people get upset. Not all of you, but some of you will not know what a Tamagotchi is. They're, it's a virtual pet. I think virtual pets have existed since Tamagotchi, so I'm sure they're still around today. But uh, from what I understand, Tamagotchi was, was the first. Did you have one, Mel? Oh, I had a bunch. Oh, wow. I, I, I did. I had one. They were kind of the thing to, to have in whatever year, 95, 96. Uh, okay, so now... Now the bird needs food. It's showing you him. <laughs> Do you want a bird? To be honest, I'm not I'm not a huge fan of birds. Um, the story is very sweet, and I'm sure that there are some people that nurse birds back to health. That's a thing that happens. Um, but I don't know anyone personally. It'd be interesting to find some real life stories of people who have done that. It's gotta be it's gotta feel very rewarding. Though. I mean, I had pet birds. I didn't have to nurse them. <laughs> well, now the very beginning of the, the story makes a little more sense. Before we went back in time, he was burrowing a little hole. Perhaps we started the story at the very end. Perhaps. Perhaps. 
probably means a lot to this kid just for the fact that... Some form of interaction? Yeah, I mean, if he's not getting any at school, he has no friends or, or interaction otherwise. I actually have button inputs to break the bread apart. Well, that was fun. Good luck, little birdie. Slowly but surely, the bird will figure out we're trying to help it. Mm hmm It takes time. It's like when you get any pet from, like, a shelter or something, especially one that's been, um, abused or harmed in some way. It, it can take a long time for them to warm back up to humans, but they will. Now, here's the problem, I guess. It's 3 a.m. Do you know where your bird is? <laughs> nice one, Mal. So, outside, what do we see? Bird wants to be with other birds. And the bird wants to fly. But it also knows it can't. I think bird lowering its head may be the saddest sprite <laughs> I've ever seen. Sorry, buddy. Hmm. Back to sleep? Bird says, oh, it's time for me to wake up, too. Oh, he's coming inside. <laughs> oh, he's coming to school. Wait, what? Um. Uh. Um. Uh. Uh. Safe decisions? Please do not try this at home, kids. Now are we making our way left? Hmm. No, I suppose we're going right. Can you right. jump with your spacebar? Uh, no. Okay. That was just for experiencing the mud splashing good time, Mal. So we jumped down. Oh, there's a car. It's the pet place again. Maybe they will be open today? Okay, so we can actually go in today. Maybe they were closed. They must have been closed. Okay, I can grab that for you, no problem. Is it a spray bottle? Yeah, <laughs> just a few squirts of this magical spray. It's made from uh, ground up sensu beans, of course. So we're gonna get the bird patched up, hopefully. We also need to wrap it with a roll of toilet paper. <laughs> um... Oh wait, we really do. Oh, it's gauze. I thought we were going toilet into paper. I thought we were going into a bathroom. Like I made the joke and then I was like, "Wait, it's in the it's in the bathroom." But it's not in the bathroom. That's a storage room and that is gauze because why on earth would you try to fix a bird's broken wing with toilet paper? There you go. Good as new.
Is she saying that the bird needs to stay here? I couldn't tell what that was. Bird cage. Oh, a bird cage. He takes it. He ha he takes the bird. He's infatuated with that bird. That bird's paid him more attention than his looks like his family or his potential friends ever did. Now, I, I wonder if that's a good or a bad thing. You know, I'm, su I'm sure that he would... The, the bird is more likely to get the proper help it needs by staying with the, the vet. But the boy is letting his own emotions take over. Hmm.